Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we've had this Cartago in the workshop, and this is one we've worked on previously, but we've just done some upgrades and some additional stuff to it. So I didn't make a video about this before, but I thought I would show you everything that we've done now. And uh, the customers used this system for probably about a year or so, and it's working pretty well for them. So let me take you through everything. Okay, here is the heart of the system. So MultiPlus 3 KVA, uh, one of the upgrades we've done today is to put in the fridge solar dump. So that's coming from the ACR2 port over there through that RCBO. And then what we had in before, the original install was the Serbo with Orion XS and quite a big solar array. And we've added a third solar controller with more solar panels attached to that. So yeah, pretty pleased with how that's all looking. And uh, the customer added something after we'd done the install, which is a really good idea in a garage setting like this where they've got these here and they put a piece of perspex against there so that they can see everything that's happening but it also just protects the system from stuff banging into it and things like that so yeah it looks pretty awesome and then I've, I've also got this light up here it lights it all up which looks banging and one of the upgrades we did today is the sensors on the gas flow systems uh, or cylinders rather so that you can see the gas flow levels on the Serbo GX. And here is the solo array. So originally there was a 100 and a 120 watt panel on the van. And when in the previous install, what we did was put a 215 and then a second 100 over there. And then today, what we've added is a third 100 and a couple of 90s on the front there. So yeah, looking pretty good. It takes the total solo array to 730 or somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, pretty pleased with how that's looking, using up most of the space available on the roof here. And in here are where the batteries are, so we've got two Fogstar 300s over here. So this is what we put in last year sometime, with a shunt all wired in, and uh, all of the wiring running under the floor here, under the false floor, and then through the back of the cupboards there under the bed to the system at the back. And of course, here is the Serbo GX. So when we go in there, you can see the three solar controllers. So that's all looking good, getting voltage, etc., which is good. Obviously, we're indoors, so they're all not producing anything. And then, as I mentioned before, we've got the fridge solar dump here. So when the batteries get to 95%, it turns on, stays on until it gets down to 85%. So yeah, looking pretty good. We're going to test that shortly and just make sure that that all works. And then the final upgrade that we did was just on the edge of the driver's seat here. We've put a little cigarette lighter socket, which allows the customer to plug things in rather than having it draped over the dash. So that's for their sat nav system. That they plug in there and that's also the running off the leisure battery as well. So it's always on as long as the system's on. So there we have it. Pretty pleased with how this has turned out and how it's working out for the customer. These new upgrades are going to make a big difference to their travels. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about this type of install or anything like this, give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.